everyone, today's video is going to be my makeup collection and storage video. I have been highly requested to film this video in the longest time and it's been over a year now so I thought I'd film my updated makeup collection because as you can see my background has changed so I thought I would film it for you guys today. So please, I'm just going to do a quick disclaimer, I know everyone does these now and it's really really boring and you all heard it a million times but I'm not bragging in any way, this is highly requested and it's something that I love watching personally so why not film it. So I am a makeup person on YouTube so why not um, it just goes with the territory I suppose I just want to say I don't have a huge collection compared to most people here on YouTube my collection is quite a good size for me but it's not huge like compared to most other youtubers this is small but to me this is what I need and I use everything in my collection I just switch them up as I go along all of my makeup I do use there's nothing in here that I don't use there's only like a couple of things that I don't but I do go through my makeup collection regularly and chuck out things I don't use anymore or give to my mom or my you know my friends my family so yeah that's basically it so I think I've covered all aspects of this video so I hope you enjoyed this little video showing you my makeup collection and my storage I will leave all the links for all the storage items in the description box below so definitely go ahead and check it out because it'll be packed full of information so I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get into it so my vanity desk is the mom from Ikea and I really love it, it's perfect for makeup because it has a glass top, easy to wipe down any makeup spills, so perfect for that. You, I think they do sell the glass top separate now, so you might have to look into that if you are interested in buying this, but I really do love this and inside my drawer I keep my lipsticks, so that's what I hold it for, but I absolutely love it and it's a really good investment. And as you can see in the background, I have a long mirror which I turn to the side. That one is from Pound Stretchers and it was only £10. So I used that up for a while for my outfit of the days. But I figured that if I turned it on its side and put a towel at the back of it so it stops from falling down, um, I can have it as like a long vanity mirror. So I love this. Um, I'm not sure if I want to get one of them Hollywood mirrors yet with the bulbs but I probably will in the future but for now this is what I've got working with and in the mirror you can see I've got my ring light and my camera and my tripod so that's what I use for filming as well. So on top of my vanity I also keep my laptop that's where I do all of my editing for my videos which is nice and convenient because it's a desk as well so I use it for my makeup storage and for editing as well but if I'm filming a video then I remove the laptop off my desk so it looks more professional looking but I always put it back on my desk for editing my videos so that's really nice and handy to have. Next to that I have a little mirror so I can use that when I'm doing foundation or eyeliner or any close up details that I need for my makeup looks. And then in this little MAC box which is from a holiday Christmas set, I absolutely love it. I keep some eyelash glue and some hairpins in here so when I'm doing my hair. So just you know a few essential things in here. And then in this letter rack I keep all of my most used high end palettes. So I've got my MAC palette with five eyeshadows in. I absolutely adore this palette so much. I've got my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, which I use religiously. It's my one of my favourites. I've got the Balms Nude 2 palette. The Stila In The Light palette, which is gorgeous. And my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette as well. So when I open my mom desk, this is what you see when you open it. So you get one half of my drawer is full of lipsticks and lip liners and then the other half of my drawer is completely empty so I've got more room to grow because I do have a lipstick obsession at the moment so I'm kind of buying lots of lipsticks. So eventually I will get this drawer full of lipsticks but for now this is what I've got in my collection. So for my lipsticks in this corner over here I have a couple of Lime Crime lipsticks. So these are all from Lime Crime. These lipsticks here in the hot pink packaging, these are uh, Lip Geek, I think they're called. Yeah, Lip Geek from Makeup Revolution. This one is Cherry Balm and Ken Will Wants Me. Well, and Ken Will Want Me. It's a really nice colour. So I love them packaging. I will have to buy some more. Um, these ones here are from MUA. These are the matte ones. I've got a lipstick here from Makeup Revolution. Another one, two Barry M lipsticks. I've got a Wet n Wild Fergie lipstick. And I've also got a Chi Chi Viva La Diva lipstick as well in this section and then all these ones here with these colourful lids these are all MUA and I've got one here from NYX as well these two are from Jordana so I've got a Jordana matte and a normal lipstick these two lipsticks here are from Accessorize and they've got really nice packaging on them so I keep them for that reason um, next to it here I've just got a Benefit old lipstick and a Rimmel one in the back and then I've got a Milani lipstick here and this one, I believe, yeah, MUA. 
that's all these colourful ones anyway. So all these lipsticks here with these colourful lids and names on, these are all from Makeup Revolution and these are the iconic pro lipsticks, I absolutely love them and they're so gorgeous and they remind me a lot of the MAC lipsticks as well. Then I've got all of my MAC lipsticks just here and these are like 13 of them so far and I've got some limited edition ones and then the regular ones as well. Then I've got a high-end Christian Dior lipstick just here. This one is absolutely beautiful, it's in a beautiful packaging. This one is called 763 Rose Whispers. I think that's how you say it. And then this is what the lipstick looks like. It's absolutely stunning, so I love this lipstick so much. And then next to that I have my one YSL lipstick again. This one is in number 33. This one is number 33 and it's a gorgeous colour. I love this one. And then next to that one I have an Urban Decay lipstick as well. This one is in the shade Native and it's a beautiful baby pink. Again, this one is a really pretty pink colour and I love this one for every day. And then next to my lipsticks I have just a container full of lip liners. Um, I've just only started getting into lip liners lately so my collection is building up. And then next to my lip liners I also have this little bag with my um, lip enhancers from Full Lips. So I love them ones as well. And then next to my vanity, I have my IKEA Alex drawers. I'm absolutely in love with this. And I got this for my birthday recently, and I'm in love. It's, it's such an investment, but it's perfect for storing your makeup. And then top of my Alex drawers from IKEA, I have this white shelving unit, which I got from Argos. And it's perfect for storing brushes, lip glosses, and beauty products. So on the first shelf, I just have a couple of candle jar holders, which I'm loving at the moment. They're so pretty and girly, so I love to keep them next to my lip gloss tray. And then I keep all my lip glosses here in this Muji 5 case acrylic drawer. I love this so much for holding all my lip glosses, it's perfect for that. So these ones here with the dots on the side, these ones right here are from a holiday collection set. And so are these four here from MAC. And then these ones are all the regular MAC lip glosses apart from four, which is this one, which is the Nicki Minaj. I have the um, aquatic collection and then I have two from the Venomous Villains from MAC as well second drawer down is just a random glosses so I have one from Mali Beauty Pure Minerals these ones are the liquid color liquid glosses from Milani two elf glitter glosses this one is the glam shine by L'Oreal a Too Faced sample Clinique sample sugar bomb and an urban decay sample as well third drawer down I have my Dr. Paul Paul red tinted lip balm which I love it's really really good and then have two Revlon Color Burst lacquer balms here and some Rimmel London Apocalypse. And then I've got some Wet n Wild balm stains as well just here. I got two Glam Shines from L'Oreal. I got a Chi Chi creamy liquid lipstick and two Revlon glosses as well. Fourth drawer down I have some more. So these ones are the MUA Lux um, cream liquid lipsticks. I've got the MUA Velvet Whipped lip glosses as well, like lip creams. I got the Astralis Velour Lips Cream. And then I've got the two Barry Am lip glosses and two NYX bottle glosses as well. And the last drawer is full of my MUA lip glosses. So these are all the out there plumping lip glosses. And I've got some of the Intense Kisses ones just here. And then the MUA lip booms as well. On my middle shelf, I keep all of my makeup brushes. So this one is an empty candle jar holder, which I just cleaned out. And I have all of my majority brushes here, like face brushes. So in this one, I have loads of blank canvas cosmetics brushes, some stipple brushes, kabuki type brushes, concealer brushes. And this one here is another candle jar holder, which I cleaned out. And I have my stipple brushes in here. I have a fan brush and some Real Techniques brushes as well. And then this one is a coffee jar which I cleaned out and I have all my eye brushes in here. And I also keep my business card holder on my tray as well, so just handy to have. So on the top shelf here I keep all of my skincare products, I mainly have Nivea. I have the moisturising day cream, I have the Garnier micellar water which I'm almost out. I have the Clinique turnaround overnight moisturiser. I have the Nivea cleansing mousse and the makeup remover. I just have a deodorant. I have the Nivea Post Shave Balm, which Nikki Tutorials use, and I also have a black peel-off mask and some deodorant. And then in this corner over here, I just have a tray with some little things in here, like sellotape, um, an eyelash curler, and a cosmetic wedge. So the next bit here, I have some sponges for my foundation. This one is just from eBay, and this is from Van Canvas Cosmetics. I have some finishing sprays. This one is the Matte NYX Finishing Spray. I have the e.l.f. one and I also have the MAC Fix Plus and then I have my Smile Brilliant Teeth Trays just next to it there. 
And then right on the top shelf, I keep all of my perfumes and a Yankee handle as well. So this is the top drawer here. I keep mainly foundations, concealers, powders and primers in this drawer. So the white tray inset that you're seeing now is from Ikea. I will find the link and I'll link it down below. So I'm going to show you what I've got in this top drawer now. So in the back tray just here, I keep a couple face primers and eye primers. I've got a Stila One Step Correct. i got the Benefit Professional, the Essence I Love Stage Eye Primer, an MUA Primer, Face Primer from MUA. i got the Benefits Lemonade Eye Primer. I've also got the Benefits Pore Professional Blotting Oil Cream thing and i got an MUA Face Primer as well. And then the second tray down, I have some face powders. So I have a Stila powder in the back, the Maybelline Fit Me, an e.l.f. powder, I got one from Catrice, the Makeup Evolution, Pure Minerals, the Rimmel Stay Matte, I got the MAC Studio Care Blend Press Powder and a Studio Fix as well, as well as a loose powder from Mayron. And then in this drawer I keep all of my concealers, so I have a couple of correcting concealers here from MUA, we've got a Illamasqua concealer, an e.l.f. concealer, kick-ass from the Soap and Glory. Um, this one is from Makeup Revolution. I got a couple of the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD concealers because they're amazing. And my MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. I got Rimmel London, Wake Me Up. I got another MAC and e.l.f. one underneath. I've got just a bunch of concealers in there. And then in the back portion here I keep foundations that I'm running out of or I'm trying to use up. So I have the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, the L'Oreal Lumi Magique, a Clinique one and a Fergie BB cream as well. And then in this large tray I keep all of my regular foundations. I have the Collection Lasting Perfection Foundation, I have the Rimmel Match Perfection, the Maybelline Superstate, Revlon Colorstay, two L'Oreal True Matches, the Rimmel Wake Me Up, MAC Studio Fix and the Double Wear by Estee Lauder. And then down the side here I keep all the packaging of products that are too cute to throw away. So I just keep them all there because I'm a hoarder and I just couldn't bring myself to throw them away. In my second drawer, this is where I keep all of my eye products. So I've got pencils from Normal London, Barry M, MUA, Marley Beauty, Australis, Illamasqua, MAC, and then I've got a gel eyeliner from Avon, and I've also got a Maybelline gel liner as well. And in this little acrylic tray as well is from Ferrero Rocher chocolate set, and I keep all of my mascaras in here. I got mascaras from Pure Minerals, Essence, um, the benefits they're real, a Jordana Best Lash Extreme, MAC, some CoverGirl, I got some from Maybelline, MUA and Mali Beauty and then I got some samples at the back so some their real samples, I got the Benefits Roller Lash, the Models Co, I got some L'Oreal and just basically a bunch of mascaras. So in this acrylic tray from Ferrero Rocher chocolate set, I've got some felt tip liners, some from Pure Minerals, um, MUA, I've got some from the Blank Canvas Cosmetics, Essence, Barry M, you name it, I've got a Lime Crime one in there as well, so that's where I keep all of my felt tip liners. And then in this long tubed acrylic tray again, which is the same one from that pencil box at the back, I have all of my eyebrow stuff in here. For my eyebrows, I've got the Sleek Brow Kit and I've got a Fashionista Brow Kit at the bottom. I've got this one from Illamasqua, which is the Eyebrow Cake. I've got a Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade as well, which I love. i got this thing here from Catrice, which is like an eyebrow lifter. I've got a couple of pencils in here. I've got the Benefits Speed Brow, which I'm in love with at the moment. Some clear mascaras from MUA. I got the Brow Drama Mascara from Maybelline and the MUA Brow Define as well. And then all down the side here I have all of my eyelashes, which I'm absolutely in love with because lashes are a must for every makeup look, in my opinion. So I've got these box lashes at the back which are from eBay. I've got some cheap ones there which came in a Christmas set. i got some lashes down the side here which are from Primark, which is Define and Sultry. And then these lashes here are the Active Cosmetics, so I've got two there and two there. And then I've got two from EXO Beauty which are absolutely gorgeous, I love them lashes. And a lash set from Inglot as well. And then I've got two packs of five lashes underneath this one from eBay as well. So this is my third drawer and as you can see I've got more room to grow in this drawer. So that's why I love these drawers because they're so wide and you can fit so much makeup in them. So these are all my eye bases. I got a couple here from NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, a Wet n Wild and some MUA Shadow Sticks. I've got my MAC 
um, paint pot in Paisley. I've got the Steeler paint pot in Kitten. And then these are my collar tattoos down the side. And they've got some Illa Masca as well. Then I've got another one of them acrylic trays from Ferrero Rocher, the large chocolate box. And in here I keep some of my single shadows. So I've got a smooch one right in the back, hard candy, a couple of NYX, MUA, Essence, Bourgeois and MAC and Makeup Revolution as well. And then this one here is a acrylic eyeshadow tray which I got from Amazon and I think it's by Al Gori. Again, I will leave all the links down below but it holds my um, Urban Decay eyeshadow singles, Elamasca, MAC, Jordana, Elf. It's just amazing for eyeshadows. And the star of the show is this spice tray from Ikea at the bottom here. I'm absolutely in love with this and it has the rubber like silicone at the bottom so it stops them from falling out or moving around which is perfect for pigments. So like I said I keep all of my pigments on this spice rack from Ikea. And the fourth drawdown is my blush drawer. So in these two acrylic trays, I've got some blushes. So in the back here, I've got the Hard Candy Fox in a Box blush. This is the one that Shan Nexo uses. I had to get this one. I've got the Sugar Bomb from Benefit and the Benefit Bella Bamba blush. I've got two blushes here from NYX and a cream blush from Pure Minerals. These ones over here are all Illamasqua blushes. So these are three powder blushes and a cream blush from Illamasqua. I have the Catrice Multicolor Blush, a cream blush from NYX in Natural. I also have a Makeup Revolution blush and an Essence Silky Touch blush. Then I've got this blush acrylic tray, which I got off eBay, which I'll, again I will link below. But this holds my blushes beautifully. It only holds a certain amount of blushes. Not all the blushes will fit in this tray. Like the Miller Masca ones, they're too wide, so they won't fit in here. But these ones do, and I love this one so far. So I have the NARS blush in the front here, and these are all from MAC, this row here. This one is from the Wash and Dry collection, it's beautiful. So I saw that one at the front. And then right at the back down here, I have my one and only YSL blush, Blush Radiance. And I have some blushes at the back here from e.l.f. These ones are all from Sleek. And then I've got the Essence Cinderella blush, which Sarah got me, and it's absolutely stunning. And the packaging on this is absolutely beautiful, as you can see. And then next to that one here, I have the Urban Decay Afterglow blush. This one is in the shade Video, and it just looks like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then in the corner down here I have my YSL blush pouch, a Milani Bakes blush, a City Colour Be Matte and a Smooch blush as well. And then down the side, all the way across here, is all my MUA blushes. So they've got the cream ones and the powder blushes as well. And then my fifth drawer down is my highlighters and bronzers drawer. So again I have some more Ferrero Rocher chocolate boxes which are so amazing for holding your makeup, it's just amazing perfect packaging. So in here I've got some bronzers and these are all of my round bronzers. So I've got one from uh, Makeup Revolution, I have a Wet n Wild Mega Glow, I've got one from Natural Collection, I've got a W7 bronzer and I've got an accessorised one as well. And at the back here I've got one from Sleek and Makeup Revolution kit, like a contour kit. So I got the e.l.f. blush and bronzing powder, a warm bronzer from e.l.f. and then another brush, blush and bronzing kit. I've got one from MUA. I've got one from Milani and then I've also got this one from MUA which is the bronze and sculpt contour kit which is amazing. And then next to that I have another one of them long acrylic trays which hold all of my highlighters in which is my favourite part of this drawer. So in this drawer here I have um, e.l.f. bronzing powder which is more of a highlighter. I got my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Soft and Gentle, MUA Undress Your Skin, the Mary Luminizer from The Balm, I got the Essence Cinderella highlighter, I got the Makeup Revolution Radiant Lights, another one from Makeup Revolution, the Vivid Baked one, a Soap and Glory Glow All Out and a Goddess of Love from Makeup Revolution which looks like the um, ones from Too Faced which is amazing so that's all of my highlighters in that section. Then down here I have a highlighter from Physician's Formula which Sarah got me. 
I got a bronzer from Bourgeois and NARS. So I have the Benefits Fine One One and What's Up, which are them like cream blush highlighter stick things. And next to that I have the Benefits Hula bronzer, which I love so much, and the Makeup Revolution The One blush stick, which I use for a contour, which looks like this. And then in this section over here, I have some cream products. We'll have the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator and the Benefits High Beam, a mini high beam and a sun beam as well for when I want to go a bit more bronzy. So that is all of my highlighters and bronzers in this drawer, which I'm absolutely in love with. So I've got, definitely got more room to grow. <laughs> and then in the last drawer is all of my eyeshadow palettes. As you can see, I have a love of eyeshadow palettes. So... Let's try and go through this drawer pretty quickly because I could be here all day. <laughs> so I have all of my palettes laid out flat just so it's easy for me to see them and I can grab and reach for them. So I'm going to show you what I have in the back first. All the way in the back I have these two palettes which are like build your own palettes which I made myself with my MUA eyeshadows in which I'll just show you now. So it looks like this and you can do these really 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 cheap and they're from eBay. So I'm build your own palettes right at the back. They're just filled with all of my MUA shadows. And then these ones all along the back <laughs> are from MUA. So I've got MUA palettes, loads of them. And then I've got two sleek palettes as well, right in the opposite corner, which is right down there. Then I have a couple of Wet n Wild eyeshadows. Then I've got two from NYX, which is the Sex Bomb and the Naturals palette. I got this one from the Kardashian Beauty one, which I believe this is the Courtney one. Yeah, Courtney's Kardazzle. Then I got some Makeup Revolution palettes. So I got the Cover and Conceal palette and the Blush palette. And then I got two eyeshadow palettes from Makeup Revolution as well. Then here I got some Urban Decay palettes. So this is the Build Your Own palette, which I got a few years ago now. And it's only still got one eyeshadow in, but it's really nice for travel. So I do need to buy some of the new eyeshadows because I've still got the old ones left. And then, this, and then this one is the Urban Decay Shadow Box, which Sarah got me, which is absolutely beautiful. So I definitely want to do a look with this palette because it's absolutely stunning. If I can fit it back in that space, there you go. And then I also have this one here, which is the W7 in the Nude palette, which I heard is the dupe for the Urban Decay. I think it's the third one, Urban Decay 3. I'm not too sure, but I thought I would give that one a try. I have the Mali Beauty Eyeshadow Palette which I got from my nan for my birthday, like a couple birthdays back, and it's beautiful. It's got a built-in primer as well, so that one's really nice to have. I've got the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2, which is awesome, especially for like every single day, because it has the most perfect shades in. There you go. I love that palette so much, and Gemma got me that one. And then this one here is the Pure Minerals Jupiter Ascending palette, which I got sent from the company to do a video on, and it's amazing. So I got that one as well. And then right down here, I have the Chi Chi Nudes palette, which Alicia Jones got me in the makeup swap. And I also got this cream palette from iMagic, which is from eBay, and it's a dupe for the Makeup Forever Flash palette. So again, a must have. I got this so cheap compared to the Makeup Forever one. And that is all of my eyeshadow palettes. So I really hope you enjoyed my makeup collection and storage video. I had so much fun filming this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Strong